What is up? It's a long time coming. Um, I haven't made a video on this channel in five months since October. It is now April, so really six months. Um, last time I was here, I didn't have hair really. I had a bit of I had a bit of a buzz cut. Um, yeah, you can tell that's changed a little bit. Um, let's just say this six months of disc golf has been some of the funnest times. Disc golf is amazing. It's just truly a great sport. It truly is a great sport. You know, last time I made this video, I really didn't know what I was talking about. That's different this time. That's definitely different this time. <laughs> um, let's get into it. Here we go. So moving on to the bag. Um, same bag as last time. But, you know, it looks a bit different. I've got some, I've got a towel now. Uh, I got my first league tag. So, that's kind of cool. Same thing as last time. Really good storage, you know. I was gonna get a new bag. Until one of my friends actually showed me that it really didn't need... I didn't need a new bag. He showed me that it could fit like a lot more like this. I said last time that this was a putter pocket. I didn't use it as a putter pocket. I used the thing at the top right here, right here with this bottomless pit as a putter pocket. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, but you can fit so much more up here than you can do up here with just the two putters that you really need. Cause I only need two putting putters. And that opened up my bag way more to more discs whenever I found that out. Um, yeah, it's just got a couple more things like loose miscellaneous on it, like my towel. I've got, like I said, the league tag, 14th. I'm so good, you know. Should have been first, but I got robbed, I guess. Um, not actually, but it's got, I think this is a stool stand on the bottom right here. Right, right here, there's these two. I'm pretty sure you can attach a stool to it. I mean, there's still room to put stuff in. Like this top pocket, it has nothing in it right now. Um, down here, there's like a little spot. And I have something. I have a little Discraft chalk bag. Let's see if I can get the cloud to form. I don't know if you can see that, but clouds. Now I'm grippy. Now I'm ready to hit the course. Um, yeah, that's the bag, pretty much. There we go. Um, as you can see here, we got a little bit of, we got some more putters, you know? We got, how many we got right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine putters. Um, you know, at the beginning, if you go to my first one, this was probably my least favorite disc, was the putter. Because I didn't know how to use a putter yet. Um, now I do. I'll say that. I know how to use a putter now. And they've definitely gone up. Putters are amazing. I said last time, if drivers weren't part of disc golf, it wouldn't be the same sport. This time I'm saying, if putters weren't in disc golf, it wouldn't be the same sport. Um, let's start off with the two discs that aren't in my bag. My two, I had, I used these two for putting. We got two logics. I don't like beads, as you can tell, for at least putting at least. I don't like beads. So I have two Discmania logics. Not bad discs, but I just got better um, putting putters, as you'll see later. Um, 
got these from my friend. Bought these. Just good putters. But they're they're not in my bag right now. And if I ever need them, I can put them back. Uh, for throwing putters, I have five. Five throwing putters. First is the West Side Disc Crown. Now, if you go back to the first video, I had this. This was in my bag. But it wasn't the same one, because I have no idea where the other one went, apparently. Thought it was in my bag. This appeared in my bag, and apparently my friend gave it to me, and I was like, what? But I still got the crown. Um, very straight disc when it flies. A very straight putter to throw. Still probably need a better plastic for it, but that might change the angle of it a little bit when you throw. The next putter I have is the P-Model US from Ace Prodigy. Um, again, great disc, understable putter, amazing approach, throw, does what it needs to do. Next is the pole cap. This is a Frisbee, I'm not kidding. It's a cookie jar. Great disc. I mean, great, great, great disc. You need a putter? Pole cap will get it done. Because, I mean, if you want it to go somewhere, it will go. Because you don't have to worry about fade at all. It has no fade. It has one three zero zero. That's the stats. It's got one speed. It's, just, it's so good. It's an amazing disc. And if it does fade, it fades straight. Like, dead straight. Um, I need to clean this off, but I still have the mini. Same mini as last time. Macro. Nice little MVP. Little mini. Next up, we have the Weaver Alabama stamped pig. Again, good disc. Uh, love using it. Gets to the ground really well. Like, if you need to throw something that you want to get to the ground fast, this is what you throw. It's pretty heavy. This disc, I'm going to be honest, I haven't thrown yet because I, I was testing them. If I wanted to be my putting putters, but I trade one of them away because apparently they're dropped there. Throwing putters, super stiff disc. I mean, I cannot bend this thing. Like, if I compare this to this, like, if I bend this, bam. This, no. It's a firm royal plastic bullet. Great disc. Um, still haven't got to use it for throwing yet. My two putting putters right now. Two identical hand eye stamp deputies. Like I said, I don't like beads. And the deputy is an amazing putting putter. It goes super straight. Super, super, super straight. But great disc overall. Um... Just, even if I need to, I can throw these and it will go straight. They, they're they very consistent for putters too. If you go back to my first video, I had a black and red deputy. Lost that in a bet to my friend. And back then, I had different types of putters. I had a deputy and I had a judge. A beaded and a non beaded I was still trying to figure out what I liked as a field. Um, and I found out I just like non beaded instead. Um, had a little arrow where I was throwing upside down when I put. Not anymore. Yeah, I don't know what was wrong with me at that point. But that's pretty much it. Those are my putters. Mid-ranges. Um, love me a mid-range. Love me a good, stable mid-range that flies like a Frisbee. Um, I feel like I use mid-ranges most of the time. Just because, like, I feel like mid-ranges are the most trustworthy discs. With putters, you don't know if you can get that distance if you need it. Drivers, you don't know if you can get the stability and the angle that you want. Because if you throw a driver, it's more reckless than other discs. Like, it's putter is the least reckless but you don't want to be a sissy. You still want to go for the shot. That's like 150 feet away. But if you're like me, I don't want to throw a putter on that because I feel like I'm going to make it short. Driver, if you're throwing a 150 foot shot, you don't know where it could go. It could go 50,000 feet long. 
but mid ranges, mid ranges has got it. So, to start off, we've got this weird looking thing. I mean, couldn't guess already. It's a buzz. Um, I'm gonna be honest here. Everybody needs a buzz. I'm not gonna even explain what it is because everybody knows what a buzz is. It's most used disc of all time. Buzz. Come on. Everybody needs a buzz. But next up, Rock Three. This thing, I had this last time, and I literally said, what do you even call this thing? A Rock 3? You know, now I praise this thing, because it's my, it's one of my favorite discs. I use this. If you ever go to Weaver, um, this is a great disc to use at Weaver. Amazing disc to use at Weaver. Um, just a great disc in general. <laughs> this disc... Can't tell from the back. You can probably see through it. I feel like one of the most hated discs of all time. The shark. The only reason I have this is because I needed a flippy mid-range. Because look, I'm left-handed. Disc golf, I feel like sometimes is not meant for left-handed people. And when I need to throw a disc, not that far, but I need it to turn over and go like a, it's a right-handed shot, this thing's got me. I'm pretty sure I had a shark last time. This one's a different one, because that one I did not like, because I at the time I didn't know what I was doing with it. But now I know what I'm doing, and yeah. Third disc in a row that was the exact same from the same from that video. We had the rock through the shark, and now we have the compass. Still have this compass. I mean, it's a compass. It looks amazing. Why would I get rid of it? Come on now. Next up is a new disc, the Taylor. This thing looks beautiful. Oh my goodness gracious! I'm gonna break. Through. This thing looks beautiful. I don't know if you can see it, but it's got like a rainbow dye to it. And it's just an amazing disc to throw. It's not a very fast mid-range. But it, it gets the job done. I'll, I'll say it gets the job done. And if we're going to keep going. You know, I could have put this in the putter category. But I'm going to put it in the mid-range category. Because I put it with my mid-ranges. Because it's pretty much. It almost does the same thing as Taylor. It's just got a little bit more fade. And it's the harp. The harp is a great disc. I mean, great disc. Got this from diving. The guy didn't want it back. Uh, we cleaned it up because it was super muddy and it almost looks brand new. So that's a great disc to use. This next disc, also found while diving. Um, this thing's a frisbee. It's fuse. Um... This is one of the funnest discs in my bag. Because I'm not kidding. It flies like a frisbee. You throw this thing, it'll go where you throw it. I'm not like... You throw it, it goes where you throw it. No matter what. You can't shank anything with this disc. It has nothing. It's 5, 6, negative 1, 0. So it's got a 5 speed, a negative 6... Or a 6 glide, a negative 1 turn, and a 0 fade. It doesn't fade, but it's got crazy glide. This thing's amazing. And that really rounds up the mid-ranges. You know what's next? We got the drivers. We got the drivers. Um, Just in my opinion, well, probably in everybody's opinion, the driver is the most fun disc. If you get that great release on it and you rip a driver, you love seeing that thing fly away. I th that's just with everybody. Everybody loves a good driver. The distance, everything about a driver is just great. Um, I've been hating on the driver for this vid, like earlier in the mid-ranges when I said the drivers, you don't know where it's going to go. I feel like I was lying. Because drivers are amazing. Drivers are amazing. So, first up, you got a really sick disc in the Crave. 
This thing is pretty much a mid-range. I mean, it's the closest driver to a mid-range you'll ever get. It's 6.55 negative one and one. I mean, it's literally a driver. Or it's literally a mid-range. But I'll tell you something, it looks amazing. Like, it looks sick. It looks very similar to my Mini, almost. But, great disc. Flies amazing. Flies straight as an arrow. Flies where I want it to go. I mean, closest driver to a mid-range I've ever seen. Next up, we got the Essence. Um, this was dyed by a friend. And I love this disc. It flies where you want it to go, just like the Crave. It's a little bit faster than the Crave. Um... It's got a little bit more of a glide than the Crave. And, I mean, it's just a great fairway driver to throw. I love this disc. Now, this next disc, I got a little story about. And it's the Lift. Proton Streamline Special Edition Lift. This disc, at the first ever league, I won with this tag right here. As I saw, as I showed earlier in the video. This tag right here. Um, in week two, first week I shot 20 over, played like an idiot. I mean, played horrible, played absolutely horrible. Now I'm not the greatest disc golf player. So I came out and I shot five over the next week and I was happy with it because the week before I played horrible, I played 20 over. I mean, that was just down and horrible. I mean... Shoot five over at a course like Heflin, that felt good. Especially for going through the wooded spots and getting five over for me. That was great. Well, if you ever played there, hole seven, Mando hole. We had CTP. Before then, I had never made it, I've never made the Mando. That I've never made that Mando except for this day. I throw this, or I throw a driver and everybody, I went last because I, I was the worst in the hole before. And I was like, okay, everybody threw forehand. I'm just going to throw forehand. Even though I'm left-handed, it looks like a left-handed hole. I'm just going to throw right-handed forehand because I'm left-handed backhand, right-handed forehand. Same shot. So I throw right-handed forehand. This thing, I forgot what disc I threw. I throw this disc. And I mean, I'm pretty sure it was my buzz that I showed earlier. I throw it. It goes right dead center through the trees, keeps going, hits the ground, rolls more to the basket, and lands about three feet away. I was so happy. I got my CTP, and I got this. An amazing disc. I love it with a passion. Reminds me of an escape when I throw it. It's a great, it's a great, great, great distance driver, but pretty much a fairway driver. Um, next up, you got to get Swifty. Sapphire. If I ever need to get Swifty. I mean, there's no explanation of this disc. Sapphire. And if I ever need to get Swifty, I get Swifty. Next up, you've seen this disc before. Free tail. This thing is beat up since the last time you saw it. Last time you saw it, it was pretty much brand new. Now you can see it's getting old. I mean, it's getting old. It's getting beat up. But I still love this disc with a passion. So much so that I love the free tail that I got a second one in a different plastic. Um... I just wanted a second one because I love it so much. That's pretty much it. Supreme Escape. Best plastic you can ask for. It's an Escape. Flies amazing. Great. On to the distance driver, except for the lift, because I already showed the lift. We got Champion Valkyrie. Uh, Champion plastic to me is actually really nice. Love throwing Champion plastic. And this Valkyrie, it's not the fastest distance driver, distance driver but it flies amazing for what it is. Next up, we have a Champion Mamba. It's a little bit faster, and it's very, it's pretty flippy, which I do really like. Um, if I ever need that, just like the free tail, if I ever need that Anheuser shot, I can throw an Anheuser, and it will flip amazingly, and it will be, a, it'll be almost a right-handed shot. And the last disc of the day is the Wraith. This was also one of the first discs I had in the last video. You saw it. Um, still have it. It's a great disc. Wraith flies amazing. And that's pretty much it for the discs. If we move out that out the way with all my discs. Um, I just really wanted to remake this video. Because 
just to show in five or six months, however long it's been, how much of growth as a disc golf player I really have. And in my first video, I ended it with saying, um, you know, if anybody has any suggestions for me, then I would love it because I, at the time I was pretty much a beginner and I think I still am a beginner. I just finished my first league. Um, don't know when I'm going to get into tournaments, but I have grown a lot in this sport. I've gotten a lot better, I feel like. I can, I know how to play now. Um, this video is just to really inform me on what I've done in just the past six months. Uh, I haven't cut my hair, <laughs> but for real, disc golf is a great sport. I don't think I'm going to stop any time soon. That's pretty much the video. If you watch this, comment down below. Say anything you want to. Not anything bad, please. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.